So over here you can see that I got some circles with physics applied. So in order to demonstrate you how it works, let me just refresh this out and this is what it seems like. This is a continuation from our previous physics lesson. So now what I want to do is you can see that there's two static objects right here. But what I want to do is I don't want physics to act upon them, but I just want uh, them to be uh, collision enabled so that the spheres right here just interact with them. So in order to work around with it, I'm going to go to shapes. And then what I can do is I can go around here. And what I'm going to do is on uh, the tag section, I'm going to hit collide. Same goes for here as well. I'm going to enable collide, but just uh, for a moment, I'm just going to go to record and let's see what happens. You can see that now the circles interact with this uh, layer right here, but not this one because collision has not been enabled for this one. So I'm just going to go to shapes and then uh, work around with the collision on this one. Let me go back to record and let's see what happens. You can see that it actually uh, works around just like that. So now you can see that there's transform option right here. But if I were to rotate out, you can see that both of the objects, they rotate at the same time. I don't want that. I want them to be controlled individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to go on to this object. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a transform tag onto this. So I'm just going to go to transform and same goes for this one as well. I'm going to go around onto behavior and transform. So now if I were to go to record, what happens is that I have individual transform controls for layer 10 and layer 11, as you can see. So what happens is that I can just work around with it. So I can go around and I can work around with the rotation for this one, as you can see, so I can individually control those things out right here. So there's an error right here. So let me just refresh it out just like this and let's see what happens. So let me just go around. You can see that it is way on the top. So I'm just going to bring this down, go on to record and let's see how that works. Yes, now it works fine. So now what will happen is that uh, you can work around with the rotation. You can see that I can control this out. You can even keyframe this out. But anyways, we're going to rotate this out. And if I were to go over here, I can rotate this out as well, just like this, as you can see. And that is how you can control out everything with physics. And you can see that things seems much more natural when we do this. So that is how you can uh, add in static objects for collision um, in physics behavior and control them by using individual transform controls. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.